Good morning, class. Our topic today is Aquatic Pollution. Republic Act Number 10654, Section 107, TLE8, Quarter 2, Lesson 2, Week 3. Content Standards. The learners demonstrate an understanding of the concepts and skills in fisheries. The learners demonstrate an understanding of the concepts and skills in food processing. Performance Standards The learners familiarize themselves with sections of RA 10654. Learning Competency Discuss the background of aquaculture and its relation to fisheries. Discuss career and business opportunities related to fisheries. Learning Objectives at the end of the lesson, the students are expected to understand Republic Act 10654's role in regulating aquaculture and fish capture and recognize the diversity of fish species in the Philippines. Aquaculture, often referred to as aquafarming, is the controlled process of cultivating aquatic organisms, especially for human consumption. It's an industry that involves the breeding, rearing, and harvesting of plants and animals in all types of water environments, including ponds, rivers, lakes, and the ocean. Fish capture technology involves catching aquatic animals. Fishing vessels primarily load and discharge cargo in ports and serve as transportation at sea. Capture fisheries. Target fish, prawns, lobsters, crabs, mollusks, and other aquatic organisms. India with its extensive marine and inland resources, is the world's third largest inland fish producer. Fishery, the practice of rearing and maintaining fish for consumption and industrial purposes. Fisheries are crucial for a balanced diet and involve fishing in natural waters or maintaining fish ponds. Aquatic Pollution, Republic Act Number 10654 Section 107. Pollution of aquatic environments is illegal under this code. Penalties, Administrative liability, fines of 300,000 Cuban pesos to 500,000 Cuban pesos, plus 15,000 Cuban pesos per day until the violation stops and fines are paid. Additional penalties may include cease and desist orders, facility closure or suspension and water supply disconnection. Criminal conviction, imprisonment from six years and one day to 12 years, fines double the administrative amount, plus 15,000 Cuban pesos per day, until compliance. Cease and desist orders and facility closures can be issued pending case resolution. Rule 107.1 – Technical Committee Functions Assess environmental harm, health hazards, and obstruction to aquatic activities. Evaluate damage for penalty imposition and rehabilitation. Monitor compliance with rehabilitation plans. Rule 107.2 – Technical Committee Composition Representatives from Denner's Environmental Management Bureau, Philippine Coast Guard, Marine Pollution Unit, NFARMC, NFRDI, and an academic representative. Members receive travel allowance, honorarium, and per diem. Experts may be invited to assist. Non-compliance with Good Aquaculture Practices Republic Act No. 10654 Section 11 Fishery Operations Compliance Fish breeding and farming must adhere to good aquaculture practices and environmentally sound guidelines set by the department. Penalties for violations. Administrative liability. Fines of 10,000 Cuban pesos to 100,000 Cuban pesos per day until compliance and payment. Criminal conviction. Imprisonment for three years and fines double the administrative amount. Rule 112.1 Noncompliance. Noncompliance includes 50% mortality of cultured fish in an aquaculture zone. Poisoning of wild fish. Widespread contamination by pests and diseases. Aquatic pollution as defined by the code. Use of fine mesh net Republic Act No. 10654 Section 93. Prohibition on fine mesh nets. It is illegal to use fishing nets with mesh sizes smaller than those specified by the department. Exceptions are allowed for catching specific small, mature species, fry, glass eels, elvers, tabios, and a lamong. Penalties for violations. Discovery of a fine mesh net on a vessel presumes illegal use. Administrative penalties. Confiscation of catch and gear. 
Oh, 20,000 Cuban pesos for municipal fishing, community service if unpaid. Oh, 50,000 Cuban pesos for small-scale commercial fishing. Oh, 100,000 Cuban pesos for medium-scale commercial fishing. Oh, 200,000 Cuban pesos for large-scale commercial fishing. Imprisonment of six months to two years. Fines twice the administrative amount. Confiscation of catch and gear. Rule 93.1 Exceptions. Four, fine mesh nets are allowed with specific licenses for a catching immature species for culture, e.g. bangus fry, subbo fry. B. Aquarium slash ornamental animals. C. Small mature species, e.g. alamong, tabios, dillies. 5. Use in ring nets, persanes, and bag nets for sardines, mackerels, and scads, with a mesh size of 1.9 cm, ensuring no juvenile fish are caught. Fishing and Overexploited Fishery Management Areas, Republic Act No. 10654, Section 94. Fishing in declared overexploited fishery management areas is illegal. Penalties for violations. Administrative penalties. Confiscation of catch and gear. Fines. O municipal fishing. Three times the catch value or 20,000 Cuban pesos. Whichever is higher. Community service if unpaid. O small scale commercial fishing. Five times the catch value or 100,000 Cuban pesos. Whichever is higher. O medium scale commercial fishing. Five times the catch value or 300,000 Cuban pesos. Whichever is higher. O large scale commercial fishing. Five times the catch value or 500,000 Cuban pesos, whichever is higher. Criminal penalties. Imprisonment of six months and one day to six years. Fines of 500,000 Cuban pesos to 5 million Cuban pesos. Confiscation of catch and equipment. A. Cancellation of fishing permit or license. Rule 94.1, scientific basis. DNFRDI and DABFAR, along with stakeholders and LGUs, will conduct ongoing resource assessments to determine and declare overexploited fishery management areas. Fishing and Overexploited Fishery Management Areas, Republic Act No. 10654, Section 94. Fishing in Overexploited Areas. Fishing in declared overexploited fishery management areas is illegal. Penalties for violations, administrative penalties. Confiscation of catch and gear. Fines. O municipal fishing. Three times the catch value or 20,000 Cuban pesos. Whichever is higher, community service if unpaid. O small scale commercial fishing. Five times the catch value or 100,000 Cuban pesos. Whichever is higher. O medium scale commercial fishing. Five times the catch value. Or 300,000 Cuban pesos. Whichever is higher. O large-scale commercial fishing, five times the catch value or 500,000 Cuban pesos, whichever is higher. Criminal penalties. Imprisonment of six months and one day to six years. Fines of 500,000 Cuban pesos to 5 million Cuban pesos. Confiscation of catch and equipment. A. Cancellation of fishing permit or license. Rule 94.1, scientific basis. DNFRDI and DABFAR, along with stakeholders and LGUs, will conduct ongoing resource assessments to determine and declare overexploited fishery management areas. Fishing or taking of rare, threatened, or endangered species, Republic Act No. 10654, Section 102. Prohibited activities. A. Appendix I species. Illegal to fish, take, gather, sell, purchase, possess, transport, export, forward, or ship out species listed in Appendix I of sites or categorized as threatened by IUCN and the department. Penalties. Administrative. Fine of five times the species value or 500,000 Cuban pesos to 5 million Cuban pesos and forfeiture of the species. Criminal. Imprisonment of 12 to 20 years. Fine twice the administrative amount, forfeiture and permit cancellation. B. Appendices 2 and 3 species. Illegal to engage in similar activities for species in sites Appendices 2 and 3 if their populations can't remain viable under collection and trade pressure. Penalties. Administrative. 
fine of three times the species value or 300,000 Cuban pesos to 3 million Cuban pesos and forfeiture of the species. Criminal. Imprisonment of five to eight years. Fine twice the administrative amount and forfeiture. C. Captive bred species. Illegal to gather, take, possess, transport, or export captive bred species transplanted to the wild. Penalties. Criminal. Imprisonment of five to eight years. Fine three times the species value or three million Cuban pesos and forfeiture. Additional provisions. Vessel violations. If a vessel with more than two crew members is involved, the captain, master, and two highest-ranking officers are presumed liable. Rules. Rule 102.1. Scope. Prohibitions include parts and derivatives of the species listed in Annex I of the IRR. Other species may be added based on recommendations from the Philippine Aquatic Red List Committee, subject to the consultation process stated in Rule 65.2. Rule 102.2. Value of Species. The National Aquatic Wildlife Management Committee will determine the species' value using accepted scientific methodology for penalty implementation. Rule 102.3. Scientific Assessments. Required to evaluate species' viability under collection and trade pressure, conducted according to recognized scientific methodologies. Rule 102.4. Transplanted Captive Bred Species. DABFAR will create implementation rules within one year involving stakeholder